Hey guys, it's Mariah from MariahMagazine.com and in this video I am going to show you how to add social media icons to your navigation menus. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to WordPress and go to your dashboard. Now we're going to be using Font Awesome to do this. So you want to go to fontawesome.com and then you want to snag this code right here. So I'll actually leave the URL to this exact page on Font Awesome down in the description box so you can just click on it. So essentially you just need to highlight this code and copy it. Um, make sure that you're using the free version unless of course you paid for pro and then um, make sure that you're using web fonts and CSS unless you know what you're doing and then you can play with the SVG. But if you're just looking for normal social media icons, make sure that web fonts and CSS is chosen up here. So you're gonna wanna highlight this and copy it and then go to your WordPress dashboard and we're gonna wanna place this in the header box. So in order to find that, usually it is within your theme settings of whichever theme that you're using. So for example, I'm using Genesis. So my header and footer scripts, Genesis puts it right into my theme settings. Um, I think that Divi is something similar. Um, if you are not sure where exactly your header and footer scripts are, you can download a plugin and I'll show you what plugin that is. It's called header and footer. So then it would be, you would just need to download insert headers and footers. And basically this plugin right here would allow you to paste code into your header, which is exactly what we need to do in order to have these social media icons show up on our website. So let me go back to the Genesis theme settings. I'm going to scroll down and paste this code right in my header script. And essentially what this means is that it tells your website to go ahead and snag the images from Font Awesome servers. So if you don't do this step, your website will have no idea what you're talking about when we go and place things in the navigation menu. So you literally cannot skip this step. So go ahead and save changes. And then we're gonna wanna go to our menus. So appearance and menus. And I am going to select the main menu to put these in, or you can do the secondary menu, your footer menu, you know, whichever menu you're looking for. And then what we're gonna wanna do is come down here to custom links, open that, and the URL is going to be the URL of the social media platform. And then the link text, we have to go over to Font Awesome, and you can use this search bar to search which social media platform that you want. So I am doing Instagram, so I would click on the icon. And then right up here, you need this HTML code. So you're gonna wanna click on that and you're going to see that all HTML codes that we're going to be using, it starts with I class. So make sure that you're copying the right one. So click to copy it and then go back over to your menu. And in the link text box, you're going to go ahead and paste that and add it to your menu. Okay. So now we are going to save the menu and I'll show you what it looks like. Bam. Now we have the Instagram social media icon in there, but when you click on it, it doesn't open up in a new tab and that's not good for user experience on your website. So when you go back to the menu page, click on screen options up here and then we're going to want to show advanced menu properties. Click link target, open up that navigation menu and click open link in new tab. Click save. I'll refresh this page. And now when I click on it, Instagram opens up in a new tab. So that is best practice when it comes to adding links to your website that link to another website is to always have them open up in a new tab. So when it comes to these social media icons, um, they inherit the size and the color of the parent element. Okay, so that sounds like gibberish, but basically it's like they'll inherit the size of um, your navigation menu links. But if you wanted to increase the size, you can go back to your menus, open this up, 
and then it says I class equals. So after that um, quote right there, we're going to do style. This is a little bit of CSS. Style equals quote font size colon. Let's do 25 pixels so it's super obnoxious and you can see it. <laughs> and then we'll do pixels semicolon and then close up those quotes. Save it and then we will refresh it. And you can see that now that the icon grew in size because we changed it back here. So that being said, we can also change the color of it. So if you wanted to change the font size, you could leave that. You could also do color, colon, and then a color code. So let's do gray, semicolon, and then make sure if you're adding color and font size, everything is in between these um, quotes right there. And then go ahead and save the menu, and then we'll refresh it. And now you can see that it is gray. So there's a whole bunch of different CSS stylings that you can get into. Those are the only two that I am going to show you. Um, there is another way that you can size the icons using Font Awesome, and I will show you how to do that. So let me delete this CSS right here. Um, and I will go ahead and pop in the link to the sizing guide from Font Awesome into the description as well. So essentially, Font Awesome has sizes all set up that you can just go ahead and copy and paste, but they are relative to the font size that you're using for your navigation items. So just be aware that 2x on this website might not be 2x on another website or whatever. So we, you can go ahead and play around with those, but we can copy that, go over to our menu, and then if you wanted to paste these ones in, it would be right after the icon name, which is Instagram. So then you would do a space and then paste the FA-2X, 4X, or whatever X you want to do. Save menu, and then we'll refresh this. And you'll see that it gets a whole lot bigger. Okay, so there, that's two different ways to go ahead and change the sizes of those. Um, and then you can just repeat basically the same thing. Like if you wanted to add Facebook, go to custom links. We'll do facebook.com go over to font awesome and search facebook click on the facebook icon that you want i want this one click on that i class html code and copy it go back to your menus paste that in the link text add it to your menu open it up open it in a new tab and then i'm going to copy the same size that i use for instagram and use it for facebook and paste save menu Go ahead and refresh this and bam now it comes up um so yeah you can see that there's a little bit of space here and everything but that would take a little bit of extra css to go ahead and um, customize these exactly how you want like the hover color and the normal color and things like that but to keep it super simple that is how you add social media icons to your wordpress navigation menu if you guys have any questions at all, go ahead and pop them below in this video. And if you thought that, that this video was helpful, just give it a quick thumbs up for me. And then make sure that you're subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss out on any new tutorials like this coming your way. All right, bye guys.